Pokemon Video. I'm your host, The J-Man. And today we're going to be talking about Season 3 of the HBO hit show, His Dark Materials, which is an adaptation of Philip Pullman's uh, Northern Lights series, or um, you might have heard of it as The Golden Compass was the first book in America. And um, this Season 2, not Season 3, I'm sorry, Season 2, is a, a adaptation of the second book titled The Subtle Knife. So the focus is on the subtle knife, which is a really important plot element. Okay, so we're here to talk about season two as a whole, as well as address the finale, which I feel like needs a separate kind of uh, conversation about. Um, so first of all, I'd like to ask you know, about, um, well, how did you feel about season two compared to season one and just a a on its own? Well... I thought, I thought season two had a lot more to it. There was a lot more information given out in that that one than the yeah. first one. And yeah. maybe I did see part of the first one before, so maybe that's why I had seen the other movies, so I was a little bit more prepared yeah. for the first one than I was for the second. And right. in the second, it, has, it kind of got me in on the first one really close, trying to hear what was going on and try to figure out exactly what was happening to some of the characters. Yeah. So the first one is really mysterious and ambiguous. You're not sure what all the greater stuff means. It's such, you know, what does dust mean and the grand significance of things? And really, it's very uh, kind of confusing and a little frustrating because Azrael, her father, Lyra's father, uh, is... It's a vague character. You're not sure exactly what his motivations are, and the line between bad guys and good guys is really blurry in this series. But the second season definitely reveals a lot more of the grander scheme of what's going on, and you see that a little bit of spoiler alert here is that there's a kind of a holy war between angels and well, rebellious angels and other another group of angels, which you don't even get into very much in this second season but it does reveal that towards the end um, really the second season is focused on Will and obtaining the knife and finding his father so that's mostly what the second season is although Lyra plays a very significant part in that she's a little bit more of a, like a supporting character if you will but uh, the two of them definitely work together uh, How did you feel about the two of them together? I thought they worked really well. Mm -hmm. um, conversations were good. It seemed to be believable yeah. uh, what was going on, that they were really good friends. And, um, you know, they seemed to support each other really well in whatever endeavor they were doing because they were definitely on a mission. Yeah. Did you have any favorite moments or any, any particular points that you liked? Uh, about them? Yeah, the no, two it's of about them. the whole season. Um, well, one something, I wouldn't say it was my favorite, and I wouldn't say that it really thrilled me, was the one where um, Ira's mother poisoned the guy that was with her. Yeah. That whole scene was very surprising to me. Right. So, and it just really shows, like, so many other times just how really evil she is. Right. So Mrs. Coulter becomes more and more of the overall villain and evil person. Right. And the first one you knew, like, she eventually became bad, but you didn't know she was so sinister. Right. Until this one. And really cold. I mean, she's really a cold person. Right. And why she has these extreme feelings for Lyra and yet be totally cold to everybody else, I don't know. Right. Well, she is um, an evil force on her own, like, even right. aside from the Magisterium, which is an evil kind of organization, corrupt right. at least. Maybe not evil, but corrupt. Right. Compared to her, who's she's totally, like, inhuman, cruel, hostile, yet she still retains some little bit of feelings toward Lyra. Right. Um, yeah. So, okay, my criticism of this season, I think overall it was pretty good. Really disappointed that it was only seven episodes. I mean, how can you do yeah. that? I mean, even The Walking Dead has at least ten episodes right. per season. Um, 
I'm not sure that they were able to condense the entire plot of, of the second book into that one season. So yeah, I'm really wondering what they were going for with only seven episodes. It's just, and the way it ended, too, it's oh, not yeah. like it ended on a, a big high note. It right. felt like it had more story to tell. Yeah, um, I agree with that. And a lot of it felt slow and like it was dragging at parts. Mm -hmm. Like they were purposely delaying it. So yeah. I didn't like that. Um, really disappointed with Boreal's character, how he, you know, he, he was killed by Mrs. Coulter just like that. Uh, after so many scenes of him in the first season, you really felt like they were going somewhere with that right. character. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it just turns out he just becomes a victim of her. <sighs> You know. Yeah, that, I was really surprised by that that whole that whole thing. So yeah, that was very disappointing. And then it was again pretty confusing when Mrs. Colta turns out that she's able to somehow control the <laughs> specters. And yeah, that didn't really make any sense at all. Oh. Is there something going on with her that we don't know about that right. wasn't even revealed in the books? Right. Um, you know, it didn't make any sense with that and. Some confusing scenes with her demon and her interacting. Uh, yeah. What's going on there doesn't make any sense again. Yeah. Um, so there's definitely more to reveal about Mrs. Coulter, but uh, I don't know what they're holding out for. Um, also, also, in the final episode, we can talk about the final episode now. I felt that was kind of disappointing um, because they sort of rushed the ending and it felt like it didn't accomplish anything um, because we had... Uh, you know, Will did eventually meet up with his father, and his father was able to deliver the message of, yeah, you need to take this knife to Lord Asriel, because Mine. it's important about the war going on. So we got that, but then, you know, Will's father dies, and Lyra gets kidnapped by Mrs. Coulter, and also Lee Scoresby dying. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, a big <laughs> triple, triple whammy, right? Right. It was a little, um, well, I, I agree with you. I just wasn't happy with the ending at all. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it seemed just Will leaving her, even if just for a few minutes, just didn't seem right. Yeah, he just walked off. Right. Almost for no reason. Yeah. Um, and knowing that they were vulnerable there, anything could happen any moment. Yeah. Um, yeah, that whole thing was very weird. And then... How she just, I don't know if she drugged Lyra or what the heck happened. How did she get her out so easy? Yeah, okay. So that was really <laughs> frustrating. I felt like that was kind of an insult to us as viewers. Right. It really undermined our intelligence that she just, like, shows up in the blink of an eye. She, at one moment, she was in the tower. And, like, the very next scene, she's there where they are, where Lyra and Will are, even though they've been traveling through the forest for, like, a whole day day or two days or something like that she's there in an instant and yet she's able to capture Lyra and somehow bring her all the way back down the mountainside or you know because last time Lyra confronted her Lyra was able to overcome right you know she fought her demon and beat her demon right you know? but this time Mrs. Coulter just takes her. We don't even have any well, if, clue. Well, if she'd even yelled or anything, which I would think she might, you know, she might say something, mm -hmm. Will would have heard her. Yeah. Somebody, I, I mean, mean. I mean, unless there would have to be a scene in the next season where it shows that she drugged her, but I doubt they'll even do that. I mean, yeah. it's just going to be left up. No, yeah. it'll be left up for us to just yeah. accept it, really. Really stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was really bad. Yeah. And then, you know, with um, it felt like a waste with um, Will's father dying and also Lee Scoresby. But, yeah. you know, Will's father, the whole thing is he wanted to, to deliver that message to the knife bearer. Right. But what really did it accomplish? It hardly accomplished anything, you know? Well, it may have, coming from his father, you know. He... I can't remember with the scene with the other knife bearer if he had said he had he didn't tell him he had to deliver it, did no. he? No, he didn't. Yeah, so he kind of needed to know how important that was. That's what I think. But I felt like you know his father should have known the magisterium is right behind us. Yeah. 
a hot rod tail with guns. Yeah. You need to get out of here, then I can explain things to you later. Right. But <laughs> right. Instead, he just basically sacrifices himself. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just like pushing the boy out of the way or something. Or even with with them coming so close, so close behind him. I mean, they were just right there almost. Yeah. And he should have said, "We have to go somewhere and hide or something." Mm-hmm. They're all they're right behind me, you know. Yeah, it just felt really unnecessary and kind of dumbed down. And tragic for the sake of being tragic, like you style up the right. drama. For, yeah. They didn't I think, earn it. Yeah. Um, and then the same thing with Lee Scoresby. Nothing? Is yeah. it still going? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we thought we had a technical malfunction, but everything seems to be okay. Um, so like I was saying with Lee Scoresby, uh, he could have maybe gone with um, Will's father mm-hmm. and escorted him. It would have been more effective instead of just staying behind, oh. you know, getting getting attacked like that. Yeah, I shouldn't have had a fatal wound. I mean, he stayed and got hit again. And then they could have carried him, you know, carried him a little bit longer through the show. Yeah. I mean, he was meant to die there in the books, but it just didn't feel... Right, right. It was... It just felt like it was bad planning. Yeah. Kind of wasted characters. Right. And then at the uh, very end, you have an extra, like, in credits and after the credits scene Uh with Lyra hearing the voice and seeing Roger, who was, you know, supposed to be dead. Right, that's, yeah... Now, we have not, we're not uh, privy to information from the third book of the next season, so completely up in the air to speculate on that. What do you think that's about? Well, um, I think we'll continue with whatever Mrs. Coulter's doing with Lyra and what's happening with the Magisterium for sure. And if they find out she has, well, she said she was taking them somewhere, taking her somewhere very safe. But I think the next season will involve the war between the Magisterium, the Angels, and, you know, witches, all of that. So overall, despite some disappointments with, like I said, the final episode and a few characters, uh, I felt like season three was pretty good. You got um, the whole lore of the knife and the tower. That was very interesting and compelling. Um, As always, the visuals are really good. The acting is good. So overall, um, yeah, pretty, pretty satisfied with it. Um, not bad. Looking forward to the next season, definitely. And do you have any final thoughts? Um, no, I'm just like you. I'm, I'm very interested in seeing the next season. I really have to say overall, I really like the, the movie. Yeah. I was well, really, up until this last one, which each time they left us with something really yeah. to anticipate. And another point that I almost forgot to make is that, you know, we didn't, the whole thing was Lyra went into this world to kind of follow her father, to find where her father went. Her father's trying to find out more information about right. dust. That's right. The big thing. And we don't see anything at all of him no. for the entire season until like the final, final scene. Yeah. And it's so short and it's so minimal that it almost amounts to nothing. You know? Right. Well, that was very disappointing. Uh, it was very unsatisfying. What was he even <laughs> doing the whole time? This right. whole time, all this is going on. Where exactly. was he? So, yeah, that was a little bit ridiculous, kind of a slap in the face there. But anyway, overall, still pretty good. Okay. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. I don't think it's stopped.